Welcome, YouTube family. This is Farmer Son of Prepping. I'm going to do a different kind of video today. Today I'm going to talk about labeling people. We all know how the left, uh, they love to label people and divide people. But uh, people may not be who you think they are. Try to put it that way. This is take two, y'all, by the way. Uh, you may see this flag back here, and if you know what this flag is, uh, you may think, well, he's a racist, because this is one of the flags of the Confederacy. This is one of my Confederate ancestors. This is just one of them. Uh, did everything he fight for, was it right? No, no. But it's still my ancestry. It's still part of my history. And uh, if everybody else can honor their history, can I honor mine? Now, this flag right here, I choose not to put in my videos because it's controversial and it's been misrepresented by hate groups like neo-Nazis, Ku Klux Klan, uh, and other racial-based groups. So I choose not to use this flag in my because I don't want to offend or make anybody mad or make anybody think that I'm affiliated with those outfits, because I'm not. Now, I know the real history of this flag. This is a Virginia flag, the Virginia. Uh, so, but anyway, know your history, people. Uh, I know, granted, they're trying to erase it, okay? But I choose this flag. This was the first national flag of the Confederacy before they went to that one, or certain states went to this one. But this is the one you see all the time. It's very controversial. So I try not to use that flag in my videos. Sometimes it gets in there, but uh, not on purpose. In the background here and stuff. When I'm changing, the, moving the camera around, you'll see it. But uh, I do have those flags, but I choose for them not to be in my videos. So some time ago, back in, I'm trying to think. 2000 in 2010 uh, I was living in Section 8 apartments and I mean in close proximity to all kinds of people from all walks of life and from all parts of the country uh, when I moved in the, the family I moved in next to were from Jamaica, Queens, New York uh, I didn't really go and introduce myself. I was new. I was still moving in, unpacking, trying to get my my stuff in order, my ducks in a row, all that, you know. But the uh, the grandmother of that family noticed there was a day or two that went by that I didn't come outside, and she got concerned about me. I had the flu. Come to find out, you know, three or four days later, I had the flu. So she sent her son over there to check on me. I'm a perfect stranger to them. And uh, he brought me a couple cans of soup to eat. And uh, and that forged a relationship. Me and her son's name was Dwayne. I know this is probably backwards. But it's spelled D-W-Y-A-N-E. I thought, well, it's spelled a little funny. But you know what? Who cares? I, I like the dude. He's pretty cool. His last name starts with a W. I'm not going to give us full name, y'all, because I haven't got his permission to do that. Uh, me and Dwayne hit it off, man. We were best friends. We, uh, we ended up putting in applications at the same company. We worked at the same job for years. Best friends. If he wasn't at my house, I was at his house. Y'all, his mama put the best fried chicken I've ever had in my mouth. She's passed away now, by the way. I went to her funeral. Uh, and, but she made the best fried chicken, y'all. Uh, I mean, it was the best. And uh, we ended up being like family. She called me Dwayne and called him my name, my first name. That's how close we were. So don't be labeling people. Nobody's labeled me, but this is, I woke up with this on my mind today. And I know other creators have made videos on this type of deal, but this is from my perspective. 
You don't know what people have been through, and who they know, and who they're friends with. Just because you think you see a flag and you go, well, he's a racist, or he's a, he's pro this, or he's pro that. You don't know. By the way, these people were Christians as well. Uh, so we just fell right in the line, you know. I loved them. I called her grandma, his mom, I called her grandma. And uh, like I said, she called me Dwayne half the time and called him by my first name. Because we were, I, me and Dwayne would go in there after work and play video games and unwind. And he'd have a beer and I'd have a soda and we just got along great. Uh, so I just, it's important just because you think, you know, where somebody's from and that doesn't mean you know anything about a person. Uh, I have African American friends all over the place. Uh, so, uh, that is from my perspective. Yes, I, I choose to honor my, my family's history and ancestry uh, everybody else seems like they can honor their family history. Why can't I honor mine? Sorry, y'all. It's just... <clears throat> it's just that important to me. It really is. So remember that. Just because you see a flag or just because, well, they live in the South, they're this way, you have no idea. Remember that. Don't stereotype people and don't label people. That's what the left would have you to do because they love doing that. They love dividing the country. Anyhow, a little chit-chat from uh, Farmer Son Prepping today. Y'all do the things. Pray, plan, prep, execute. And don't judge people. Don't, uh, don't label people. Just because you know where I live, you don't know nothing about me. God bless you.